everybody. It's good to see you there. Welcome to another Bible lesson. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about faith. Ah, I have school next week. Oh, hi, silly Millie. Aren't you excited for school? No, I don't know who my teacher is, and I don't even know if my friends are coming. Well, you have nothing to fear. Through all these Bible lessons we've learned the past couple of weeks, we know that we can have faith in God. I guess you're right. During our Faith Over Fear program, I've learned that I should always have faith in Jesus, no matter what happens. If I have faith in Jesus, I should never have to be scared. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. I learned that in Luke 8, 22 to 25, called Jesus Calms the Storm. It is a story about how Jesus and his disciples were on a boat somewhere on the ocean. Jesus was sleeping while there was a big storm approaching. The disciples pleaded for Jesus to help them. When he finally woke up, Jesus went to the front of the boat and ordered the ocean to calm down. Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, <laughs> Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. The disciples were in awe. Where is your faith? Jesus asked. We should always have faith in Jesus. So a little faith in a big God is a big deal? Exactly. Let's hear from the many people in the Bible who have shown their faith in God. Hebrews 11 tells us that faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. This faith is what gave people in the old days great fame. This faith is what puts them in God's hall of fame. By faith, Abel gave his best to God. By faith, Enoch walked with God and was a friend of God. By faith, Noah listened to God, obeyed God, trusted God, and did what's right. It was by faith that Abraham followed God, and that even Sarah, Abraham's wife, believed that God would keep his promise. It was by faith that Isaac promised blessings for the future to his sons, Jacob and Esau. And by faith, Jacob blessed his sons and worshipped God. By faith, Joseph believed that God would guide him and see him through every troubled time. By faith, Moses looked forward to the great reward that God had in store for him and led the people of Israel out of captivity. It was by faith that Rahab was not destroyed with the people in her city who refused to obey God. And it was by faith that Joshua led the people of Israel. All of these people became famous for their faith yet none of them received all that God had promised. For God has planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. They had so much faith in God and trusted him completely with their lives. Yeah, this show us how great it is when we have faith in God. Let's hear from one of our special friends. Our Bible verse for today is Matthew 17, 20. He told them, because you have so little faith, I can guarantee you this too. If your faith is the size of a mustard seed, you can tell, say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing is impossible for you. Wow, I feel much better now. I think I will not fear about school and put faith in God because he is faithful to me. That is awesome. Thank you guys for joining us for this lesson this week, and I hope you guys have an amazing time going back to school. Make sure you check your activity bags, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye!